Thank you for joining us today. Uh, on Friday evening, April the 7th, a jury here in Montgomery County, after a three-week trial, uh, returned verdicts of guilty of second-degree murder uh, for a killing that took place down in Tacoma Park on August the 4th, 2014. The individuals convicted by that jury, and they were uh, co-defendants tried together, were Hussein Ali Zadeh, age 50, and Lorraine Brown, age 70. Uh, those two individuals had become involved in a romantic relationship. Uh, that information came out during the course of the trial, and uh, they conspired together uh, to kill uh, Cecil Brown. Uh, Cecil Brown was 73 years old when he was murdered in the backyard of his home. In this case, uh, Mr. Brown, and I'm honored to stand with, with both Bernard and Belinda, two of his children. Bernard is his oldest child. He ha uh, Mr. Brown, at the time of his death, had eight children and 23 grandchildren. Uh, this is a magnificent family, and Mr. Brown was a, a vital part of our community. Um, I will tell you that this case was brought together uh, by a, a magnificent investigation that began uh, by uh, Sergeant Rich Poole, who stands behind me from Tacoma Park. Uh, this was a case that was put together uh, with a combination of cell phone records, motel records, uh, financial transactions. Uh, Ms. Brown was financing and was paying and buying many, many gifts uh, for her lover who joined her in this enterprise. Um, significant also in the state's proof against both of them were insurance policies that had been obtained and a series of statements made by them where they can con continually contradicted prior statements made to the police regarding their relationship, their knowledge of each other, and the financial entanglements that, that basically were part of their relationship. Uh, each faces 30 years in prison. It is the state's intention when this case comes to, to sentencing on April the 26th at 1.30 in the afternoon to ask for the maximum penalty under the law, which would be 30 years for each of the individuals in, involved in this case. Uh, may I say, uh, we have a particular debt of gratitude uh, to the FBI in this case, and particularly Rich uh, Fennern. Uh, the FBI did a cell phone analysis for us in this case. It was absolutely vital uh, to our presentation of the evidence to show the interrelationships between these two parties on the day of the murder, and those cell phone records actually made this case. So I, we want to give a, spe a special thanks to the FBI and to the agent who testified in the course of this trial. And, and lastly, uh, as always, I am very proud of the men and women that work for me in the state's attorney's office. And if you watch this three-week trial, uh, you will know the magnificent work that was done uh, by Jessica Hall. And this case dates back to 2014. Uh, Jessica has been working on this case uh, for a number of years, and she was joined in the trial by one of Montgomery County's best lawyers, uh, Mary Beth Ayers. And those two women did a magnificent job in presenting the state's case, and I'm very proud of the work they did and I'm very thankful to them. Along with, without Sergeant Poole, I, let me tell you, Sergeant Poole, if I go back and make, tease him a little bit, uh, when this case was, this case took a long time to get here. And I, not, we talked about this with the family. Uh, Sergeant Poole, on, on a couple of occasions, I went down to Tacoma Park and he was interested in this case and he was on top of this case, he was invested in this case. He followed me into darkened parking lots, uh, uh, are telling me things we needed to do to get this case done right. And I want to I want to thank uh, Sergeant Poole because uh, he made sure that Cecil Brown's memory was remembered. He made sure that everything that could be done in this investigation was in fact done. And I want to thank him and the other men and women of the Tacoma Park Police Department for the magnificent investigation they had in this case. Uh, with that, uh, it is my great pleasure to, to uh, introduce uh, uh, Bernard Brown, the oldest son of Cecil Brown, the victim in this case. Hello. Um, I just wanted to echo what John just said. Um, it did take a little while for the case to come to, to completion, but the state's attorney's office did such a great job, and these two ladies, uh, I tell you, they couldn't have done a better job. No one could have done a better job than that, and Rich Poole also. But I also want to thank my sister for marshalling all this, and she was the person who really pushed all this for us, and I really want to thank her for that. I just want to say to everybody at the sound of my voice, we got justice, we got a verdict. But at sentencing, we really need to get my dad 30 years. 
that's what is warranted and that's what would be ultimate justice for my dad, for our loss. We love him and we miss him. Thank you all.